Hey guys, it is Tyler here, back once again with another Division video. Here we're going to be looking through the side activities and collectibles throughout the game as seen throughout the beta. I'm sure there will be extras, of course, in the main game, and we'll go through some of those that I spotted throughout playing the beta as well. Now, inside activities, you can unlock a lot of them by heading to your base and clicking on your local map, where you can update your map for certain side missions throughout. So the first thing we're going to go through is called Encounters. Now, Encounters are pretty much your basic side missions that you'll see all throughout the map that have an effect on the main story, or at least your main bases that the main story is a part of. So your main base is we saw one across Madison Square Garden in the beta and you upgrade three sections, the tech wing, medic wing and the security wing. So to use the upgrades to help the base grow and continue parts of the story as well as other side activities that you get to unlock throughout, you need to gather resources to improve them. To gather resources, you go through all of the encounters. There are three types, the blue, they get you security wing upgrades, the green for medic, and the orange for the tech wing. So by doing those encounters, you get upgradable supplies for those specific wings, and the more you do, of course, the more supplies you get, then you spend it on upgrades to unlock the base, which give you, again, more side activities, better loot, more money along the way and XP, and of course, to help out with the main storyline. These side encounters have many ranges from hostage situations, from scanning infected areas, from taking out enemy strongholds, for helping the local authorities take out some thugs, and things of that nature. Now we have basic side missions, which you can get from officers in certain bases. Now there's two bases in the beta, the one as I've said across from Madison Square Garden, and then the one you start in at the beginning of the tutorials. Now at these bases, you talk to these requisition officers and they give you these side missions. Things like bounties, missing persons, things of that nature that you get to go around and do. Of course, it's the division, so it can be solo or with your friends. Now these get you unique items and rewards, as well as, of course, your basic money and XP. Now you do have random events, of course, things that go on around the map. That can be encountering a civilian that needs your aid. That You can give medical equipment or food or water or things like that and they'll drop certain items for you to customize your character. You also have the Dark Zone. Dark Zone is the PvP version for the Division. It's a zone where you spend your time fighting enemies, both online players and NPCs. Now you can spend your time running around the map killing enemies, gathering loot, which when you take out enemies, you can collect Dark Zone Keys. Now those unlock chests to get even better loot. Now the best sort of loot you're going to get is in the Dark Zone. Now you only have a certain amount of loot you can carry in the Dark Zone. So once you've filled your pack up, you go and you extract that at one of the extraction zones and you need to hold off enemies while doing so. And then you get the fuck out of there. You also have collectibles that have a lot of range of, and variety by the looks of it, like many Ubisoft games do, like Watch Dogs and Assassin's Creed. You have things like Echo Beacons, where you can investigate situations that have happened prior to the events of the virus spreading and the lead up to it, and of course as it's happening, as well as different files, folders, phones, and things like that, where you can track different people's storylines throughout this world that have gone on, that can also unlock the side activities back at your bases. Other collectibles range from technical equipment, electronic parts and things that you can use for upgrades and modifications of your weapons and your outfits and gear. So those are your main side activities that you will encounter in The Division. It is a brilliantly fun game, a lot to do on the side as well as of course a main story to back it up. If you haven't played The Division beta, well look forward to the full game coming out in early March. I'm very excited for it. Now stay tuned for more Division videos in the very near future.